Expert. I'm Harris Faulkner. Here with me today, Sandra Smith, Andrea Tenteros, Kirsten Powers. Foundly. We love Tucker. <laughs> Thanks for having and me. Are you missed. kidding? Well, I, I miss being here. Every time I pass a TV in an airport and I see you, I think I should be there. Well, we got your love letters and your cards and your flowers, <laughs> and so you. poof, here you are. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, <laughs> that'll get you anywhere. <laughs> Flower. Flattery works. All right, let's Very get true. to the news. And again, I'll back some of the, the speculation and the fear on this, Kirsten, and just deal with the fact. Transport a woman who had Ebola. I mean, those are some of the details that have now come out about this. Always, when somebody comes in who presents certain symptoms to the ER, you always ask him where they were recently. He's we are not equipped to handle this. And at the time when we should be preparing, the president was dancing in Martha's Vineyard and assuring us that this would never happen. I'll say it before I'll say it again. In these countries, they do not believe Wait, hold like, on. Nobody's I mean, asking why we're better off than we were six years ago. We're, he's been in go office Tucker. for go long like with the so there's, there's a limit to the power of words. Like the Soviets always used to say, well, no, actually, we've met our potato harvest who remembers what it was like pre-Obama, who doesn't have a really ominous sense about where the, con the country's going. Massive record numbers of people unemployed. Maybe it's better, I guess, in some theoretical sense. The country's in real trouble, and it's a little bit insulting to pretend otherwise. All right, we're going to be talking about this a lot. Something tells That's me in the months. Yeah. I don't think it's pandering. I think they're highlighting the issues that they care about. I mean, they're not, and, and but they're which, highlighting that women are you, hypocrites. Which are meaningless. You, they're, no, they're highlighting that women have said over the years, "We don't need a man. We don't need a man. We don't need a man. We're so strong and independent. We're not victims." And at the same time, women are birth, that birth control should be covered by the government. I think that they no, it they, makes you weak. Uh, and I it think, makes you, it makes you to choose. Offer to pay for your wedding dress when you get married. Oh, no. That's next. I yeah. think. I And Sandra, when he came out and basically used her as a human. Here, uh, Harris, I'll go to you on this one. Isn't the big picture here the different circumstance when you fire somebody and when you allow them to tender their resignation? Whether the two were really the same journey to get there doesn't matter. When the press accolades mm -hmm. for uh, for the leadership that he had with the Secret Service, he then went to yes. Okay, because they <laughs> clearly had some other people who might have been more. Well, here's another thing. It was, on, it was on the heels of the prostitution right. scandal, and he was getting flack from within the Democratic Party that he didn't have enough women in positions right. of power in his administration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so, I, I do think that it was a not, political. It wasn't a job that a lot of people wanted, frankly, because uh, at the time that she came in, exactly what you they said. Couldn't find it another was, person. I, I think that it was. It was. She came in when the it was in a in the. Can we just in this one area of protecting the press? Wow. <laughs> you know, this, is a, this is a tough one for me. By the way, this is the same rationale for the burqa, by the way. It's a distraction to other people. This, but this is a tough one. I mean, obviously, I'm wrong person next. I, I, Do I'm, you have on yoga pants right now? <laughs> I will right after this show. Let me tell you something. They're comfortable. So these girls wearing the leggings and then a big sweater over it. Like right. I would wear it. They're wearing the leggings with a shorter shirt, and it shows everything. So I do think the schools have a bit of an issue I on their know. hands because... Kirsten, you're the authority It is on pretty this. risque. Yeah. Yeah. You wrote yeah. a you, column about it. I did. You love yoga Yeah, pants. no, I just... I I think it's reasonable. I think it's completely reasonable. What, the ban or the, yoga ban? There should be a, a yeah, a, the ban. Okay. And the ban, you know, you're not <laughs> hanging out. Like, you know, and what, what are they going to start going to the workforce and think you they can wear yoga dean. pants to, to work? You I mean, it's have, like. You have a, a daughter, Sandra. If she gets old. In New York City, men are wearing skinny jeans more and more. And let me tell yeah, you, it's, it's pretty revealing as well. <laughs> it's, it's totally. It's they only in New really York City. tight in places yeah. that they should not be. This is a non trend so far. Thank Does it make you feel uncomfortable? You, but we'll like see. pajama boy beta males. I, I, I hear what you're saying, Kirsten. I mean, if there's a school you're policy, so awesome. like you can't wear shorts or tank tops, right. if they want to put that on the list, I guess parents can decide if they want to adhere to the policy or move their kid to a different school. I guess that's the thought. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> ISIS. More yeah. oil in this country than we ever right. have, but and we're not buying as much oil from foreign countries. Let me just make one point that. The scary part for the American people, if we were to put boots on the ground, is that if we finally did that, that was after, Andrea, this administration promising, Kirsten, no boots on the ground, we would be doing that after so much reluctancy. And that uh, American people would probably not have a lot of confidence in it at that point. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I mean, they, see, they seem to be expressing support for it, but I... I it's, yeah. it's so rare that it happens. We're all like, wait, we actually agree? Whoa, <laughs> they have been pushing for it. You're on Jeopardy, by the way. You won Jeopardy once. I love Jeopardy. I was on Jeopardy. I love... Just <laughs> Levi's? Like, I don't... Like, is that a thing that people are into That is kind of yesterday, isn't it? <laughs> like, th That's that was, true. like, from yeah. my childhood, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, it seems a little outdated. I don't find it that offensive, but it just seems sort of outdated, I guess. Well, you look in Andrea. 
Oh yes, I'm so outraged by this. I can't even control myself. Um, you're right, Levi's. I mean, I wasn't they, like seven know, jeans, maybe. But they, but they you know are I mean? onto something. I mean, women do just want a pair of jeans that make our butts look good. I want lots of things, and I I'm spent my whole life around women. So do men. Oh, <laughs> it's basically true. Yes, yeah. it is. No, it's not. You're, you agree with him? I think Paris Paris what do you mean? I, let me speak to this as a man. It would be the same answer for every single block. So wait, I had to fact check you on what men want. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, just I know the answer. Is my father used to thing. say, if they knew what we really thought, they wouldn't talk to us. Uh, uh, thank Kevin, you don't. So, but stays with I know, me. I know, it's awful. Um, are you offended by want? Tell us now. This is good. Tucker, I don't know that men and women are that much different. Really? Oh, <laughs> true confessions over there. Rear, Sandra. Looking in a mirror. Be a joke. I'm like the last person to make a joke like that. Uh, I don't know. Help me out, girls. What would we want? What do women want? Since we've got about 60 seconds to answer this question, 15 I'm hearing. I went through the list already. What? what? A margarita machine margarita in our house, a live-in manicurist, yeah. some help at home, someone Ooh, to do the laundry. Manicurist. Someone to iron would be great. <laughs> Pick up the dry cleaning. There you have it. No. That I only simple. want one thing. <laughs> more time. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah. I agree oh, with that. That's all I want. Yeah. We're on the same page. See? All right. No, you're absolutely right. right. We want the same thing. Well, a new law. DC Comics issuing a statement agreeing the messages are offensive <laughs> and saying it's looking into the design and licensing what? process. <laughs> what? Right. Actually, took this seriously? It's offensive to want to marry someone? I'm offensive. I, I'll be the outraged one. On okay, be the outraged one. Yeah. Right. No, no, the, what's offensive is the idea that that's what you're aspiring to when you're looking towards your future. Like, I'm a future. That's my future. Why? My future is Why to is marry that? Batman. Because women have their own identities and their own. What's wrong with marrying Batman? Separate from, I don't think that's a goal in life. I think really? if you it happen to meet back, Batman and hit it off with him and marry him, then that's great. But I don't think your goal should be that I'm going to marry a, a certain. Really, you don't man. think getting married no. is like one of the yes. key decisions? Yes, I, I, I know. But ad. that's not. Then I think that would, then you would have shirts that say future wife and future husband, and I guess men would wear those and and women would wear those. Everybody should want to get married. The point is, it's only the girl shirts that are saying, yeah, like, men, my identity is going to be who I'm married to. It's not the, for the, the boys. The baby onesies brings in a little bit of a different element, though, don't you think? I mean, these are yeah. babies don't really have a, a voice <laughs> that can't talk yet. And so they're sort of sending a messaging out without even knowing it. Well, it's, <laughs> you're yeah, stomping it's, on the baby's first ahead, minute, But I right? do think, like, I don't know. I, like, I, Marrying right. Batman is like, I mean, what about, I mean, and I don't want to marry like, Batman. I, but Batman's but like, too dumb. <laughs> Mary is a huge, very important. But I guess, yeah, but I don't think we're, 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 we're missing the point, though. It's that the girls' things were targeted towards getting married to right. someone. The boys' things were targeted toward becoming exactly. somebody. Right. right. I, 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 yeah. I actually do agree with Kirsten on that. I mean, I think women's goals have evolved past just getting married. Although, going back to the What Women Want segment, I mean, Tucker is right. Women do want a strong, great guy. And you made the joke, what women want, it's not so different from men. Did you see the way Superman was looking into her eyes? Lady. Men <laughs> want to get married, too. <laughs> we do want the same thing sometimes. My, my true confession. Oh. Yes. I married Superman. Oh, there you did go. You did you really? Very happily. Everybody thinks my husband looks like Clark Kent. Hey, Tucker, thanks for being here. <laughs> We're staying awesome. right here for Outnumbered Overtime on the web, foxnews.com slash outnumbered, and click the Overtime tab. Please join us. We're back on TV tomorrow at noon Eastern time, and Happening Now starts right now.